Hey guys, this is part two. This will be just a regular old makeup tutorial for this look. I was requested to do a purple cut crease, so I went ahead and did this one. It's kind of hard to see because the colors are dark, but hey, it's a purple cut crease and it's done with all affordable products, so that should be fun. Anyhow, if you want to see how this look is done, keep watching. Okay, so we are using the BH Cosmetics Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies palette and the Maybelline H Rewind concealer that I always use Wet n Wild's Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche and this Hot Pot from Coastal Scents in Deep Grape Also Maybelline's uh, Falsies Push Up Ang Angel something mascara it's my first time trying it and NYC's eyeliner that I love so much also Maybelline's uh, lipstick in truffle teas and wet n wild's lip liner in willow here are all the brushes I used and all the prices are listed there for you so you know how much they each cost or about how much they cost okay so those are the tools and now let's begin starting part two and taking that concealer and I'm doing both eyes this time so I'm just showing you how I do one eye but I am doing both eyes at the same time so we're starting with the contour palette in the lightest shade and we're using this shade as a base now with the darker shade I am just going to use this on the crease it'll be a transition shade so what's great about that palette you can also use it as eyeshadow we're starting with a black shade in this BH Cosmetics palette with a pencil brush and we are just going to carve out the crease now this look is not going to be a super sharp cut crease it'll be more of a soft cut crease and with the reddish brown matte shade they have in this palette I'm applying that next to the black which I thought would look really nice with the purple so with the same pencil brush, I'm just blending the two together and applying it. Okay, so switching to a blending brush. This one is from Langnickel, Royal and Langnickel uh, brushes, which you can find at Walmart. And blending those two. Putting that one away. And then with my concealer and a concealer brush from Coastal Scents. I'm carving out the crease, but I'm not going to be too concerned about making this one extra sharp. Back with the pencil brush, this is from a set that, uh, um, that BH Cosmetics sells. And switching to a detail brush, and I'm just going to darken that crease with the black. Putting that away and switching to Coastal Scents Hot Pot and Deep Grape. These are ridiculously affordable. If you haven't tried them, check them out. Check out CoastalScents.com because they are awesome. I think they're like the first company I ever ordered from online years ago. So now with another brush, a shading brush, I'm just applying it all over the lid. And then I'm going to blend it. Okay, now eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I think you can buy it at Walmart or any other drugstore that may sell NYC. And it really is like a dollar and change for this eyeliner. Back with the detail brush and the BH Cosmetics palette. <laughs> We're going to go underneath with the black 
And I'm also taking the lightest, um, more like a lavender shimmery shade and putting it in the inner corner and then blending it with the black. Okay, now mascara. This is the first, maybe the second time I tried this mascara and I was trying to decide how I feel about it. And I've used it again and I think that it's really good at giving you volume. I'm not sure it's the best at giving you length. It's great at separating and giving volume though. And now lip liner. Line your lips as you usually do. And lipstick. Okay, then your look is done. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It is a tutorial that follows the demo I did for the Royal and Lamnicle uh, brushes. Yeah, so I hope you like this and enjoyed that it's all affordable, even the brushes are affordable, so it's a good way to see what products you can use and not break the bank. Because you know, you don't, sometimes you don't just have it that way, you can't just go and splurge and spend 50 bucks on a palette. <laughs> Anyhow, don't forget to give my video the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already part of the makeup artist me makeup lovers. I hope you don't get tired of hearing that every time, but I feel like I have to say it for new people that, you know, watch my videos. So yeah, that's why I do it. My outro, my rock on is always just like a little motto. <laughs> but yes, always guys. <laughs> Rock on.